welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make these Asian inspired party meatballs. Now these succulent little bites have a bit of a kick from the Asian hot sauce and red pepper flakes, but they also have a touch of sweetness from the five spice and ginger to round out the flavors nicely. Now instead of using all ground pork in the recipe, we're going to be using mainly lean ground turkey with a little bit of pork mixed in. And instead of frying the meatballs, we'll bake them to make them a little bit lighter. Now we might be saving a little fat, but we won't be sacrificing flavor. So everyone at the party is sure to love these little guys. Alright, to make this dish we'll need 20 ounces of lean ground turkey, 8 ounces of sausage with the casings removed. I have a combination of hot and sweet here, but you could use either or both. 3 finely minced scallions one clove of finely grated garlic, one teaspoon of finely grated fresh ginger, one half of a small carrot grated, one tablespoon of hot sauce. You could use sambal or sriracha sauce or any kind of variety would do. One tablespoon of gluten-free soy sauce, one tablespoon of duck sauce, a teaspoon of Chinese five spice, one egg, and some hot pepper flakes to taste. All right, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Then in a small bowl, stir together the scallions, garlic, ginger, carrot, hot sauce, soy sauce, duck sauce, five spice, egg, and hot pepper flakes. Then once everything's well combined, set it aside. Now in a large bowl, combine the sausage and ground turkey until it's pretty well mixed. Then add the spice mixture to the meat and thoroughly mix it up until all the seasonings are well distributed throughout the meat. Now you can form the meat mixture into little balls about an inch and a half in diameter and place them onto a foil lined baking sheet that's been sprayed with nonstick spray. I was able to get 35 meatballs out of this batch. Now before I bake them, I like to spray the tops of the meatballs with nonstick spray also. I find it helps out with the browning process a little bit. Now at this point we need to bake them for 15 minutes, at which point we can turn them over and bake them for another 10. Now while they're baking I like to make a quick dipping sauce by combining one third of a cup of honey, one half cup of apricot jam, two tablespoons of gluten free soy sauce, one half cup of orange juice, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a half cup of water. Now at this point we need to heat all the ingredients together and bring the mixture up to a boil and then lower it to a simmer and let it go for about five minutes. Now as soon as my meatballs were done, I tossed them in the sauce until they were all well coated and plated the dish. Now if I were serving this at an actual party and not just doing a recipe demo, I would have found toothpicks that were a little more festive for the occasion. I also would have found a nice little serving dish for all the extra sauce that's lingering in my pan right now. But you'll remember all those little details when you serve this at your party. I really hope you'll give this a try, and if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you can always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.